here. Working on the S14 again. Um, I think in this video, I'm going to start on the rear end. I'm gonna go pull the bumper and maybe another set of taillights uh, out of the shed and uh, get those things cleaned up. You know, try to pull this out here. I'm gonna go grab those parts and uh, get to it. Got the car out of the shop. Right now I'm gonna go do a couple test laps with the harness readjusted. I got a GoPro out on there, you can't see, but got yeah, it set up, you guys will come along for that. Uh, after that I'm gonna figure out which of these bumpers we're gonna go with. I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is the uh, it's an OEM Sylvia bumper and this is a uh, aftermarket, uh, I guess, fiberglass replica, if you want to call it. So it's a little different, similar, but anyway, so I'm going to decide between those. This one obviously has been uh, hit there, but I think I can fix that pretty easily. So uh, yeah, that's, that's next, but right now, I'm going to go out on the track. carved out it's cool to see anyway so yeah another success there everything went well no issues uh, you know I'm just starting to get again get the hang of driving this thing and getting a little faster and getting uh, you know let's get used to it again it's been uh, been a while but this thing is <laughs> it's definitely holding together so yeah anyway uh, I am going to work on the rear end now I'm gonna finish taking the tail light tint off of these you can see I got most of it off that one I have not done that yet, but this one's this one's giving me a little bit of a struggle. I got some of it off there. You're starting to see a little bit of tail light again, but I just uh, you know I don't know. This uh, they came on another car. They were tinted. I put them on here because I wrecked the other tail lights that were on my car, and I didn't mind it because again they had the black wheels and the headlights aren't there, so it sort of looks yeah, I don't know matches the front, but I uh, figured it'd be better for people at this point be able to see the tail lights illuminate. If they need to, then uh, it look cool or not. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to fit these two bumpers. See which one I want to use. Yeah, this is a, uh, this one here is a fiberglass. I mean, it's not pretty thick stuff. It's not uh, it's not the cheapest bumper, but it's definitely not. I would say this is not a uh, name brand part. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, it sort of looks. Similar to the, here is the, that is a actual Sylvia, JDM Sylvia front bu or rear bumper. I came with the car. Again, I got in a, a little bit of an accident over at uh, Indianapolis, I think the Speedrome, years ago. Uh, it wasn't bad, but that's, that's when that happened. And we're working on fixing that today, both the bumper and the rear end. So I, I don't know 
Which one I'm going to use yet? The uh, this aftermarket fiberglass one has these skirts, which are cool because I did not have these when I got the car, um, and I was always sort of interested in getting them, but they're expensive. So these are again a knockoff of them. But if you can see here, that is uh, broken fiberglass. I guess these were molded on at some point, and uh, this one, this one's much worse. You can see, look at that, oh, it's pretty nasty. Large piece of it isn't even like on there. So, uh, I mean, again, I can fix those. I can maybe even shave them down a little bit. I've already sort of mocked them up, and they, they look okay. I don't mind it, but uh, I'm sort of leaning towards getting this one back on because this matches the car, obviously, and then I wouldn't have to paint it. So I'm going to use a heat gun and uh, heat that up and then try to pop that back out, and then we'll try... Mounting it back on the car, like I said, I'm also going to get the rest of this, uh, get some paint thinner here, and get the rest of this uh, tail light tint off of here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get to it. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So uh, I am pretty happy with how that turned out. Look at that. Look at how much better those look. I used paper towel and this paint thinner after that I got it down to where it I feel like there's still a little bit of tint on it there definitely is still some on here I ended up leaving this there's no brake lights in there so I'm not worried about it and then I used the mother's polish I ended up using the uh, headlight restoration kit so same thing I've used before to uh, polish headlights all in one mother's restoration kit comes with this ball here and with this polish and uh, I did two coats I ended up doing the whole light along with even this little one and it just oh my god it totally totally transforms the back of this car once I get the bumper on there it's definitely gonna be looking good then pull this out yeah that'll be gone soon I ended up deciding to go with the OEM bumper. Uh, I was able to get most of the dents out of it. First time ever using the heat gun method, but it looks quite a bit better than it did. Uh, the tail light lines up now. I'm happy with that. It's looking good. The quarter panel is coming along. I did get this. It was in quite a bit more, but it's uh, it's still in a little bit. I'm not. Super happy with the results. I'm probably gonna come back out again after dinner. I'm just beat. I've been wailing on this thing for a while. That's all I got is this little sledge and I got some uh, extensions I've been putting through. That hole in there to try to get to this dent because this is tricky to get to because you can't get to it from in the wheel well and you can't really get to it from here at all. So I've been working through that little hole with this uh, extension and uh, a socket on the end and then this uh, little piece of 2x4 there to try to keep it from making all all the little dents that it still is anyway but um, yeah so it's coming along I'm excited to see this thing uh, back together again oh it looks so much better what is this it's coming along oh look the tail light is still not not perfect but definitely better than it was for sure and that's not bolted in so that'll go in more but Look at this thing coming together so much better. Anyway, uh, I'm starving. I'm going to get some food, and uh, then I'm going to come back and finish this thing up. So I'll see you guys then. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're back here. I actually i am just wrapping up tonight. Uh, I just took a couple minutes to clean up, put all the tools back, and uh, make sure everything's nice and clean. But I finished up the rear end of the car. And check it out. Oh yeah, quite a difference from uh, how it was looking this morning. I am pretty happy with how that turned out. This quarter panel, and yeah, it's uh, not the greatest, but I did what I could. The final-ish product, I'm sure I'll work on it a little more at some point. This, I'm not, I'm not super happy with that. It's pretty hard to get to this. So I think it's going to stay like that.
at least until I cut it out and do over fenders and uh, tube the rear end and all that stuff. Anyway, really, really happy with how these turned out compared to the uh, tinted taillight look. It seriously, it seems it's a totally, totally different car back here from when I started today. Again, it's a little bit of uh, a little bit of hard work. Definitely pays off. See you in the next video.